In this class, we are going to learn how to get the data with the help of BIP report using Oracle Visual Builder application and populate the table what you see over here that is by decoding the data whatever has been written by BIP report so web service. In this demonstration, we are not using Oracle integration or any other integration tool. Rather, we are directly calling the BIP SOAP web service from Oracle Visual Builder application. Now, let's see how we have achieved this use case. Here is a quick demonstration. When I refresh the page, this application, what it does is it will call the BIP SOAP web service. It will fetch the data and it will populate the table in the page. Like here if you see it has made a call to our web service and it will populate this table once it fetches the details like here if you see it has populated the table i have not put the animations like loading and all this you can customize like how we have seen in our earlier classes suppose if the user populates af or some a country code like here i'm giving af it will fetch that particular country's details suppose i'm giving in and clicking on search it will make a call to the BIP report and it will fetch the details and it will return the details of that particular country. So this is just for the demonstration. I have created a simple BIP report with one parameter that we are accepting from the user. If we are not providing any input, it will fetch the details of all the countries like the code and the nationality. For this demonstration, I have created a fusion BIP report in this path that is test sample report get nationality report dot XDO. And in the response of this SOAP web service, as we know, we are getting this report bytes, which will hold the base 64 data of our SQL query, whatever it has written. Now, this BIP report I have made in order to return the CSV data. In your case, you can have anything other than CSV as well, like XLSS file, PDF file, so and so forth things. But if your use case is XML or something else, you can relate as per the business requirement. Now, this is the high level context of my BIP report, like how it looks, how what it returns and all. Now, coming to the Visual Builder application, So this is the simple application which I have created that is with the table component and with the input text and within the input text I am having a search button at the end that is over here end slot that's it whatever user enters over here it will go into this v code variable and whatever BIP report fetches data it will be stored in this ADP and that ADP I am creating based on this type which will have the code and the value and that will have the value whatever we have over here code and the value so it will be map I will show you how I have done this mapping. Now the first and the foremost thing is calling the SOAP web service. When you configure SOAP web service, I will tell you at high level what you have to do. I have already created, but if you are configuring for the first time, click on this service connection, go for endpoint. Here we have to select this as post. Here we have to select get one, create the backend if required. So basic authentication, you have to provide the authentication, whatever you have used in order to log into this fusion instance. Here you can go for always proxy click on next coming to the server or to the request here you have to add one query parameter that is content type coming to the content type value you can go to this soap over here and you can just check the content type what it has used in order to make the call that is this one application slash soap this we can copy and paste it over here so this i will remove and this i will put over here the content type Sorry, we have to populate over here under the header. Sorry. So I will be populating over here. Let me just remove this. So under headers, we are passing this content type as soaps plus XML car set UTF-8. Next, coming to the body. Here also we have to remove this application slash JSON. Instead of that, we have to select the soap that is application slash whatever we had copied. So I, I think it's not copied. Let me copy again. Go to body. Here, let me just remove and paste it now if you just click this drop down you won't see this option so you have to manually hard code now in the example what you can do is you can provide whatever sample you have over here that you can provide and you can just click and test this sample so in order to test we can go for the test here if you just expand the body you can put the body and coming to the media type we can provide the media type like what we have added over here that is same thing so every time you have to change but if you are adding under headers that is the content type it will be static no need to add again and again when making a call but for testing purpose you can just add it over here that is the media type and the sample body you can just put and you can test and you can save this as a sample request all those things you can do then click on just create and in the response when you test you will be getting this response what you see over here so this is how you have to create the connection 
I will show you quickly the connection what I have configured. So in the endpoint, you will see something like this. This is the overview page. Coming to the request, I am showing the header over here. The content type is this one, which I have added. Next, coming to the body. This is the sample body which I have used, which will have the parameter name and the value and the path wherever my report is residing. Next, coming to the test. Here under the body, we have to provide the sample body. We have to select the payload as test and the media type. We can just click on send and you will get the sample response. Then you click on send and that you can save. Let me just click on send. So this is the sample what I am getting. You can just click on save the example. Now this is of the least importance for us because we are not creating a type or variable based on this response. So the main thing is VB enter action. So whenever my page loads, what I am doing is I am loading the page that is the table component with the data whatever I am getting from the VIP report. For that I have created a event listener which will listen to VB enter event. On the page load what I am doing is I have created a JavaScript function. Let me just go to this JavaScript function. What it does is it will create a VIP report payload. And the payload what it looks is it will look something like this. It will be having a SOAP payload that is a SOAP envelope with all the details populated. Now coming to the argument. So this will pass the argument whatever user has entered over here. If the user has entered it will pass the value whatever has been entered. If the user has not entered then it will pass this null. That is just a double quote I am passing. Now let me just get into this function. So this is a simple payload. This is a variable with the template literal I am using that is with the backtick start and end. Here whatever user has entered that I am passing over here the value. If not we are just passing it empty. Everything is constant. If you want to customize those things you can do it this as well. Like we can create one more argument and pass the details of the path. So this is the first JavaScript function I have created which will create a SOAP payload. Next uh, we have to call the endpoint that is the SOAP web service endpoint. And in the body we have to map whatever we got in the previous JavaScript function return. Next once we got the response from this web service so what we will do is we will get it in the base64 format. Now how we will read and convert into the JSON is with this function. I have created one more function. What it does is we are making use of this browser's DOM parser. Actually we are passing this entire response of the web service. So in the response from this web service call we will get this entire payload that is a SOAP envelope over here. So what this will do is it will fetch only this report bytes that is over here. It will fetch only whatever within this. So this is the base64 content we get in the response. So base64 I am decoding with this inbuilt function that is atop. So it will look something like this. In our case it is a CSV file it will have such kind of data. Now in order to convert the CSV data to the JSON what I am doing is I am just splitting wherever there is slash n that is I am creating a title that is code and value because our type is based on those two values code and the value and based on this only we have populated our table component. Now let me just go back to the JavaScript. So this data whatever I have splitted slash n so what I am doing is I am converting to the JSON array. We are mapping code to this like code will be AF. Uh, value will be Afghan, code will be AL. So basically it will have something like this. That is within an array, JSON array, we will have objects. That is for individual records like this, something like this. So that it will convert like this, code and the value, like a key value pair. Like how we have in the JSON object. So like this it will convert with the help of this piece of code. Then I am converting that particular JSON array to an array data provider with the help of this OJ array data provider function. So with the help of this I am returning this array data provider ADP. Next is I am assigning the ADP variable that is to this report data ADP dot data. In the page designer table component over here if you look at the data I am mapping that over here and the code will be our first column and value is our second. So like this we can call the SOAP web service directly from Oracle Visual Builder application without the use of any integration or middleware tools like OIC and so and so forth things. Straight away with the help of service connection and making use of JavaScript we can build the SOAP payload that is something like this. We can pass the payload whatever we get in the form of XML. Suppose if you are getting in base 64 then we can just decode and we can convert to array data provider and assign to the table component or any component which requires array data provider kind of variable.